What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support on the road to 25K subs by the end of the year. Let's get it. Like the music that you hear, click the links. They are in the description. All right, so today I got a clip that was sent to me by Ask Andre. And this is very informative and debunks a lot of these myths that you see these detractors talking about, man. And it came with some receipts. My God, it came with some receipts, man. Y'all gonna like this one, man. Shout out to Ask Andre, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. I'll make sure I'll tag him um, either in the title or in the description, man. And I'll make sure I'll leave a link to this video also. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. And hopefully I'll be able to play the, play the beginning. Um, just ahead I don't I don't own the rights to the um music to the background in the beginning as I continue to give you analysis and updates on what's happening with the passport bill movement I thought I would put a face to the claims that I'm making because there's nothing like seeing footage and pictures to understand this at another level we are looking at a mall in Cebu Philippines do not fool yourself in thinking we're talking about third world countries that don't have the amenities we have in the United States. You would think that you were in the U.S. somewhere. It's no different. Yes, they have some impoverished areas, but they have all of the same upscale things that we have on an amazing level. But okay, I stay in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I know there's some other guys that watch me that are from this city as well. Do y'all, can y'all think of a of a mall in Cincinnati that's as big as what y'all seeing in front of you, I can't. Ain't ain't none of the ball, ain't none of the malls in Cincinnati big as big as what I'm seeing right here. Like maybe Forest Fair Mall back in the day, maybe. But right now, I can't think of any. I'm like, is Linux Mall even that big? I'm like I've heard Linux Mall is pretty big. I don't know, bro. Y'all let me know, man, because I know you know people all over the world, man, but. That's a pretty big size mall, man. Considering it's in the Philip, it's supposed to be in the Philippines where it's so bad at. Let's keep it moving. What we don't have in the U.S. is the chance to meet super approachable yet beautiful and positive women that are eager to get to know us. Day two there, I met a young lady who started this restaurant with her mother. She's a chef. She designed the menu. She did all of the interior design and pretty much put this restaurant on the map and was working on her second restaurant. I happened to sit next to her at a restaurant at the mall. We got into a deep conversation for 90 minutes and I was amazed at her English, her poise, her maturity, and the fact that she was so eager to show me around the Philippines and to just learn more about me. Now she's just a personal friend. She introduced me to her boyfriend, several of her other friends, and we all hung out four or five times. And this was a Cinco de Mayo party that she invited me to a few days later, where she and some other people put this together, and they were celebrating some of the art that she had at this place, as well as others. This is her art in the background. So not only is she a restaurateur, she's a very accomplished artist that has her work featured in numbers of places in Cebu. She's extremely articulate, talented, well versed in so many different things and she's also a model Damn! and her model started taking off so much that she put her plans to start another restaurant on pause to take advantage of all the different opportunities she was getting and in addition to being flown around for modeling gigs she's also an accomplished photographer super multifaceted down to earth great and amazing person and of course she happens to be beautiful while being so humble and down to earth did you see that shape though? <laughs> Good God. You would have never thought she was shaped like that being that thin, man. I'm like, some of these Filipinas starting to fool me with how thin they are. I'm like, they still got curves, man. <sighs> and that was just a friend, man. I'm like, wait till y'all see these other women that he, that he actually dated. Jesus Christ. Now, I met this young lady while being a DJ and MC for a beauty contest that they had at a local sports bar. She's one of the most consistently happy and jovial people I've ever met. Like the other young lady, her family owns a restaurant and she's also an entrepreneur and has several products that she sells. Oh my God. 
I'm gonna have to go to the Philippines either before or after Thailand. Jesus Christ, man. Are you serious? Let's keep it moving, man. She's also a model and does brand ambassador work for several companies. God fearing, super humble, and one of the most easy breezy women that I've ever dated. And like many women in the Philippines, she prefers older men for their wisdom and the fact that they're more established and settled. Yet she consistently advocated for me to spend as little as possible when we went out on dates. Bruh. Now, for the people that are watching, in the comments, do y'all think a woman that looks as attractive as her in the States is going to advocate for you to spend as little money as possible? Or is she going to do the complete opposite? Let's keep it moving. Like, and, these, and these American women wonder why they losing. This is a nightclub in an upscale area in Manila called Makati. Again, very similar to the U.S., but what was so different is three minutes of being there, I had a young lady approach me and ask me to join her and her friends. And while she was interested in... Oh. Outstanding. Let's keep it moving, man. Jesus Christ, bro. She got cased. Me, she really wanted her friend to get to know me. This is the friend. As their guests on the front end, they wouldn't allow me to buy any drinks. They danced like black women here in the United States and just overall had a great energy and great vibe. They were super easy to talk to. Their English was phenomenal and they love all the same music that we love. Back at that same mall in Cebu, was at this place, was about to leave, saw two nice looking ladies, just approached them to ask them about places to go. They asked me to sit down. We had some drinks, had some great conversation. They both kind of let me know. That, and this is when we're on our way to go into the second spot. Again, their English was flawless. Like many women, they were excited to meet American men and learn more about our culture. And they were asking me, do I have other friends that I could bring over? I ended up talking to the young lady in the black, but got to know them both very well. Extremely intelligent, articulate, go-getters. The one in the black is an attorney. And she's 41 years old and extremely... Damn! Hey, Andre, if you watching this, look up Miss Peru. Look up Miss Peru. M-I-S-S -S Peru. I'm telling you, bro. And, she, and she's a Latina. Well, obviously, she's called Miss Peru. Bro, I'm telling you on everything, bro. She looks just like this girl right here, especially in this picture. Now, Miss Peru is way thicker. But the face, good God. I mean, they could literally be twins, bro. Because that's what I thought. That's who I thought of as soon as I saw this picture. I was like, damn, she looked like Miss Peru, man. And I'm like, yeah, look look her up, bro, if y'all want to know what I'm talking about. They look very, very alike in the face. It's kind of, it's almost kind of creepy. Gee, like, seriously, they could be twins, man. Like, I'm like, these Filipinas are, uh, uh, this some really attractive Filipinas out here, clearly, bro. Let's keep it moving. Accomplished, but so humble, so down to earth. We hung out a few times after that first night and always had a good time. She took me to street vendor restaurants in the neighborhood so I can get the real feel for what it's like in the Philippines on all sides. And this is the friend that was with her. She's 38. She's a physician, extremely accomplished in the Philippines, single, and was very interested in me bringing some other friends over that she could meet. Again, you would never guess their ages, and you can't just assume that all the people there are just impoverished and don't have money. They have money. They have a lot of things that we have here. It's not just about that. The point of this video is not to shame American women. I'm especially not trying to come at women who look like me. Again, I'm someone who believes I will marry a black woman in America. I just want everyone to understand the dynamics of what's happening here and how things are not what you think they are. My time there was about me learning about me, me understanding my own value and having a better context in a fuller, broader market. It just makes me more equipped no matter where I date or who I date. That's what's up, man. Shout out to Ask Andre channel, man. I'll make sure I leave the links and all that good jazz in the description. Yo, 41 and 38, and they look like that. Bruh. But, once again, but, I, I mean, outside of the obvious, 
he did debunk a lot of the BS because I'm I'm really getting sick and tired of y'all. Them women poor, they need y'all. I'm like, bro, this man literally just showed y'all a woman that's a lawyer, an another woman that has like four or five things going for models. Like, ain't nothing. I'm women buying his drinks, bruh. They can't be, I'm like, they can't be that poverty if these women, attractive women at that, are willing to buy him drinks. Women in the U.S. got, got their own damn money and, and ain't, and ain't paying, a, paying for a man's drinks. I don't know, man. Sound like a, um easy decision for men to make. You know what I mean? If they don't feel appreciated here, but they can go to other countries and get treated like that by very attractive women. You gotta jump through hoops to even deal with a cute chick in America. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. This, this, this was dope, man. Shout out to Ask Andre channel, all right? If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. And hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.